Hey you guys, it's Christina and I am so happy to be here with you today to talk to you about why I no longer use regular lipsticks and also to shine light on the ingredients that you did not know are in your beauty products. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and join the family. I'm so happy to have you here. For those of you who haven't been to my channel before, I'm all about health and wellness, inspiring a raw food vegan message, becoming your best self yet. This video is in collaboration with 100% Pure and I am so happy that companies out there exist like 100% Pure because not only am I obsessed with their products, but they're clean, they're cruelty free, they're toxic free, and they're vegan. They're made with the most pure ingredients possible and they're even made with natural fruit. 100% Pure just came out with five new lipsticks, all vegan, all pure. They're even colored for the autumn season and I'm gonna share those with you in just a bit. If you're interested in some of the products that I am sharing with you in this video, please check in the description below. I'll have them all listed there for you. All that being said, I think it's about time that we dive into the content of this video. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. So while doing research for this video, I came across an article from PETA. The header says, makeup enthusiasts, stop smearing dead bugs on your face. If you've ever seen a female wearing bright red lipstick, crimson red lipstick, or pink hues on their face, more often than not, this pigmentation comes from dead ground up beetles. Yes, that is a fact, I'm not making this up. Whoever came up with that idea, I don't know why, I'm just sharing with you the facts. As it says here in the article, you could be smearing the insides of thousands of bugs onto your lips with your favorite red lipstick, or your cheeks with your favorite blush. It's been reported that more than 70,000 of these beetles are killed to produce just one pound of dye, which can be found in many cosmetics and other products. So as I was mentioning in the conversation earlier, if you're a guy or a girl, and if you didn't realize that you were wearing dead beetles on your lips, and if you're kissing somebody, imagine that. Imagine you having it on your lips and eating a piece of food and then swallowing that or if you're a guy and you're kissing a girl that has that on your lips. How appeasing does that sound? It doesn't sound that appeasing. Some other ingredients that are found in lipsticks and in other beauty products are also snail slime, which is a snail mucus taken from captive snails using cruel methods, pigs and cow skin and bones, Yes, you heard that right. So this is also known as gelatin or collagen. For those of you who have ever seen the word gelatin or collagen on a product, that's what it is. Pigs and cow skin bones. I'm not making this up. That is exactly what it is. Gelatin is protein obtained by boiling skin, tendons, ligaments, and or bones in water. It can come from cows, pigs, horses, or even fish. I don't know who made this up. I don't know who invented it or who thought that was a good idea. I'm just sharing with you. Ground up hooves or feathers, also called keratin. I'm sure you've seen that word on many beauty products. Keratin is the protein from ground up horns, hooves, feathers, quills, and hair of various animals. Cat glandular secretion. I'm sure many of you guys have seen the ingredient musk oil on a product. And while many people think that that is a perfume, it acts as a fragrance for some of these cosmetics to mask the smell of what's actually happening there. And it can be painfully obtained from a musk deer, beaver, muskrat, civet cat, and other genitals. Whale vomit. It's a wax-like substance from the intestines of sperm whales that can be found in animals poop or vomit and it is used as a fixative in perfumes and products and even some food. It's basically a solidifier. Shark liver oil, mink fat, which is also found in many makeup and cosmetic products, mayonnaise and chicken periods. Yes, mayonnaise and chicken periods. I'll let you guys check that article out if you wanna read more about that. Sheep grease, this is actually known as lanolin, and I'm sure many of you have seen this ingredient in your lotions, in your skin creams, and yes, even in your makeup products like lipsticks. 
It's a fancy name for the greasy junk that coats the sheep's wool to keep the animals dry and protect their skin. Last but not least, crushed beetles, as I have mentioned before. If you're looking to see if your lipstick has crushed beetles or not, some key words that you can look to find are carmine, crimson lake, carmine lake, Cochinal, Natural Red 4, CI75470, and E120. All of those have crushed up dead beetles in them. Now, I know that's a lot of information to swallow. I know it's not pleasant information. And I know that while ignorance may be bliss for many, or for many people who may not want to hear about this, I think it's better to know and to make changes than to pretend to not know and to always have this lurking fear of I hope that what I'm putting on my skin doesn't harm me in the long term. Ignorance is not always bliss. And what's better than ignorance is having knowledge and being able to make empowered decisions. Your choices don't only affect you. They affect your health, they affect the lives of so many animals, innocent animals, and they also affect the environment. You have no idea the impact that consuming some of these products has on all of those things. And you have the ability to make a change with your purchase. Remember, whatever you purchase with your dollar supports that industry. And even if it's just one dollar, you have the power with your dollar to support or not support certain industries. Make wise decisions. You are just one person, but one person can make a huge difference. So now that I've shared with you some of the scary news and some of the good news, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I'm gonna give you some great replacement items that you can use. These are the ones that I personally have in my house that I use almost every day and that I find to be super helpful. They're all vegan, they're all clean, and I highly recommend them. If you're interested in checking any of these out, the links are in the description below. Since we're talking about lipsticks here, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some lipsticks and some lip colors that you can use. 100% Pure just came out with five new beautiful lipstick colors that I'm slightly obsessed with. And this one is Strawberry Cactus. It's the one that I'm wearing right now. You can see this beautiful pink color that I'm pretty much obsessed with at this point in time. 100% Pure always says that if you can't eat the lipstick, if it's not safe to consume, then it shouldn't be on your lips. And that's their whole tagline. I feel comfortable wearing these on my lips because I know that if I'm drinking a smoothie or if I'm eating something and it gets on my fork and I consume it, I'm cool, I'm safe. Not that I would go eating the lipstick, but it's non-toxic and it's completely safe to have on your lips. They also came out with another nude color and this one is called Savannah. I've used it a few times. It has like a nice purpley hue to it. And for those of you who are wondering about the quality of these, they do stay on all day and they're pretty amazing. This next one is definitely a favorite. I do like wearing red lipsticks. This one's called Desert Rose and it looks a little darker right here, but when you put it on, it is quite red. So I'll just give you like, you can kind of see that. Just mix it in. By the way, I do like mixing their lipsticks. They're all mixable and they do last all day. This is my other favorite. This one is called Plum Pink. And I love this because it's a light nude, but like a pink color, just enough to have that natural look that you'd like to go if you wanna go for a no makeup look. I love this color. And last but not least for their new colors, this is Oasis. So uh, I have used this one and I had to kind of um, use a tool to scrape off a little bit of this because I use this in a photo shoot as of recent and then I dropped it on the floor. So clumsy me, it's still alive, but you can kind of still see this dark color and how beautiful it is. I'll include a prettier picture so you can see what this really looks like, but this is Oasis. So I've shared with you some of their new lipstick colors that have just come out and I'm gonna show you my two favorite colors that have been on their website for a while. And even though these are a little bit older, they're my favorite colors. So I wanna share them with you because this is what I recommend. So my favorite lipstick of all time from 100% Pure is Protea. This is a part of their cacao butter line. So this is uh, a little bit more dense and creamier. And this color is called Protea. You can see that I've used it till the end of its life pretty much. And this one is Primrose, and it's from their Pomegranate Oil Lipstick line. Each of these are amazing, and I highly recommend them. 
Since we talked a lot about having bright red lips and uh, what's required usually to have that happen, I figured I'd give you a red lip alternative. They're lip caramel. This one is called uh, Rogue Velvet, Velut, Velut. Uh, this is a bright red replacement that you can use as well. And this is a very glossy alternative. It's not a lipstick, but it is a gloss, and it's bright red and beautiful. Their Black Tea Leaf Mascara is a must have. Not only does it smell amazing, but it lasts all day. Oh, it smells like chocolate coffee, it really does. Uh, but it is actually one of the best mascaras I've ever used. And I'm not a fan of mascara, but this makes me want to use mascara. So it's uh, non-toxic, vegan, cruelty-free, all of the above, and I know some people swear by this. If you have big eyebrows like me, then you probably need a brow brush. I definitely do because my eyebrows are always everywhere. Natural eyeshadow. I really like their Better Naked collection that has these very natural toned hues in them. Their Caribbean Shimmer is gorgeous. Their Caribbean Shimmer is amazing. You can easily carry this in your purse anywhere and give yourself a quick eyeshadow fix. You can even use this as your eyeshadow alone. I love their Caribbean Shimmer. I've mentioned this one in several videos because it's a favorite. Their Bamboo Blur Powder. They just came out with this a few months ago and I'm already a fan. I don't use primers or cake on my face in any way, but light powders like this are really beneficial if you're trying to get rid of shine or if I'm filming or if I'm on set and I don't want something heavy. The Coffee Bean Eye Cream, great for when you wake up in the morning and you have puffy eyes or great even before you go to sleep at night. I'm a big fan of this eye cream. And last but not least, and I think it's really important to mention here, is sunscreen. It's still summer, if not approaching the end of summer. <laughs> Don't remind me. A lot of people ask me what I use for sunscreen, and I use the Tomato Lycophene sunscreen. I just recommended this on my Instagram, actually, because I've had so many people ask me what sunscreen I use, not just for my body, but for my face. It is important to put sunscreen on your face, so this is the one that I recommend. I hope you guys have liked this video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, join the family. Share this video with people who need to hear this message. Let's all get better at making more informed decisions. Let's all get better about our purchases. Let's all become more awakened and conscious individuals. We can absolutely make a difference. I wanna thank you all for sitting here with me in this video today. I know for some of you, it probably wasn't easy to hear some of those things, so thank you for that, and thank you for being a part of this community with me. I love being here for you. I have so many new things up the pipeline or coming down the barrel or whatever you say that I'm gonna be sharing with you as of recently, so uh, stay tuned for those. I'm so grateful to be here with you, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Sending you all my hugs and my love.